Finally, I made it to Cairo, the land of the pharaohs. Standing by these enormous 5,000 years old man-made structures is very humbling. It is mind-blowing to know that there are enough blocks in these pyramids to build a 10-foot high, 1-foot thick wall around France. Crazy, huh? How did these pyramids withstand the wear and tear of the centuries and millennia that have passed by? Look at them! They're magnificent! But it saddens me knowing that the pyramids standing here now are not what they used to be. The pyramids of Giza were once covered in a white casing made of glimmering limestone and other ancient materials. It was so polished, it would reflect sun rays and would act like gigantic mirrors that reflect light so powerful it would be visible from the moon as a shining star on Earth. Legend says that this white casing was more than just for show, but unfortunately we will never know what it was used for given that all the casing has either eroded due to the high pollution rate in Cairo and climate change, or thanks to the thieves that have stolen the casing alongside the uncountable stolen artifacts from inside and around the pyramids. Ugh. Okay, enough chit chat. My brain is melting from the scorching heat. Let's focus on what I'm here to do. As an archaeologist and a detective of stolen artifacts, Intel tells me that there are three precious scarabs that are made of that white casing that once covered the pyramids. The scarabs are believed to have been buried alongside King Khufu in his tomb. But this tomb has never been found and is presumed to have been stolen by tomb robbers. But since it was never found, there is no proof. It might still be in there. I. I'm planning to be the first to find this tomb and the white scarabs. Now let's hydrate and go find those scarabs. Here we go. All right, detective, here's the plan. I'm putting it out through with one of Egypt's best pyramid guides. Hopefully, he can help you locate the tomb. Abu Samad, are you ready? All right, Detective Habibi. I uh, hope you're ready for this, because uh, finding the tomb chamber will not be easy task, huh? Uh, there are uh, different bats acting as the call, so uh, to divert the uh, tomb thieves, okay, the fam? So uh, I will be in your ear bees, huh, to guide you through, Mashi? Okay, that's great. So we know where the tomb is then? I will try to uh, keep your spirits up inside, Yani. You will be in the tomb on your own. It will be dark, kind of, fam. But uh, let's get in the pyramid and uh, figure it out inside. Oh, yalla, yalla, bin, yalla. King Khufu, here I come. Oh wow, it's too dark in here. Keep going straight detective, the left and right are for tourists, you know, but uh, the tomb should lie somewhere uh, in front of you, keep going.
Hmm. Is that a dead end? Wait, there is a clue. Okay, now I'm at a crossroads. Which way should I take? Uh, try go left, try go left. Uh, oh, uh, if not work, try go right. This looks like an empty room. I don't see anything in here. Yeah, some rooms will be empty, you know? Either uh, Tomb of Thieves got here before, or uh, Egyptians built it as decoy. Go look somewhere else. Wow, look at those paintings. How did these colors survive all that time? Look at the details. Hmm, this seems like a hollow wall. There must be a room behind it. How do I open it? Uh, try to find some mechanism that opens the, the, the wall. You know? Look around you. into a room with a bunch of hieroglyphic blocks on the wall. What's going on on the summit? Are you serious? Detective, you are pointing in the chamber. It should lie behind these walls. Of 
I think this is it. This must be King Hofu's chamber. Yes, I am. But quickly before I will signal again. I'm in the king's room, but there's nothing in the coffin. Well, you probably are not the parents to find the room. But remember, this is the chamber of an Egyptian king. There must be uh, some uh, more uh, treasure hidden somewhere. Do you see uh, anything that uh, is uh, significant around you? Huh? Scarab! It is beautiful. Wow. Let me take a picture for the boss. But there were supposed to be three. What happened to the other two? I must find out. Thank you, sir. But there were supposed to be two more scarabs. I don't understand. Well, thanks to the picture you sent me with the scarab, there was a papyrus behind it with some text that we translated. It mentions that those scarabs have the power to revive the ancient Egyptian civilization, but it doesn't say how. Our scientists were able to find the mysterious form of energy that is generated from the scarab. We believe that by putting the three scarabs together, we will have a scientific breakthrough. Well, this is amazing. But we only have one scarab. What about the other two? Well, new intel came in. They say that the tomb was raided by robbers who sold the scarabs on the black market. They must have only got two scarabs since you found the third. My gun is Our eyes on the ground were able here. to locate the second and the third scarab. They were sold on the black market to an international crime lord who's keeping the scarabs in his mansion. Your job is to enter the mansion, locate the scarabs, and get out. Unnoticed. The mansion is very well guarded at all times. The crime lord's bodyguards are always alert, very well armed, and they won't hesitate to shoot at any intruder coming into the mansion. You have to avoid being seen at all costs. I have devised a foolproof plan that will get you to the room where the scarabs are located. Your job is not to be seen, and I will be guiding you personally through the mansion. Here are the details. Besides the patrolling guards outside and inside the mansion, there is a camera that monitors the hall that leads to the room where the scarabs are kept. We have hacked into the camera and we will upload a pretty short clip of the guards patrolling the area. So whoever is monitoring the camera won't notice a thing. You need to upload that clip into the camera system. The two guards patrolling the hall leading to the main room are very alert, but there is a small window where you can sneak into the room without getting caught, assuming the camera speed is already altered. The room has a code that we will hack and provide you as you get near the door. Once you're in the room, finding the scarabs should be easy enough. Did you see what I Yeah, sure, so easy fine. enough. That What's the worst that could happen? Get killed, that's what. Get yourself together, detective. And remember, timing is everything in this mission. Best of luck. Yup, I will need as much luck as I can get. Did you see what our lord stole last time? That Chinese artifact from the museum. <laughs> No one's ever dared to come around here anyway. Oh, 
Gun is getting rusty from not being used. I need some action. Okay, all set. The clip has uploaded. My gun is getting rusty from not being used. Mm. I need some action. My gun is getting rusty from not being used. Mm. I need some action. Gun is getting rusty from not being used. Mm, I need some action. Stop right there! I lost you from not being used. Mm, I need some action. Gun is getting rusty from not being used. Mm, I need some action. I'm not a boring night of patrolling. No one's ever dared to come around here anyway. <laughs> Another boring night of patrolling. No one's ever dared to come around here anyway. Someone's in the hole. Get him now. Gun is getting rusty from not being used. Mm, I need some action. My 
gun is getting rusty from not being used. Oh, I need some action. That was not easy. But you made it. Now find the scan and send it back. We're almost there. Okay, I found one of the scarabs. It's beautiful. Great. Now find the second one and let's get out of here. Okay, so now what? We need you to take the scarabs and head back to the king's chamber and find something that can help us harness the scarabs' mysterious energy. <sighs> okay. You are helping us solve the mystery of the ancient Egyptian civilization. Once you're done, you can enjoy your time off and also a huge bonus. Hmm. All these years of working together and you still don't know me well, sir. I will do it. But for science. Wait, 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 that's not what I meant. Hello? Okay, you precious scarabs. What is your mysterious energy source? At the end of our gruesome journey, we finally did it. We found the power of the scarabs' mysterious energy. Putting the precious scarabs in their sacred case has transformed the outer layer of the three pyramids into their original shiny white casing that used to cover them thousands of years ago. That casing does not only act as a shiny mirror that can be seen from the moon, it can also harness energy from the Earth's core. This energy is equivalent to the energy released from one million modern air solar panels. This infinite source of clean energy can be the ultimate solution to stop the use of the non-replenishable oil and coal fuels. 
And if we are able to capitalize on this new source of clean energy, we can help solve the biggest catastrophe our planet is facing right now. Yes, you guessed it, climate change. But our story does not have a happy ending, yet. Finding that incredible source of clean energy is without a doubt a huge breakthrough. But it is worthless if we cannot use it where it is needed. It is up to the governments and the companies around the world to invest in the infrastructure required to move this energy around. We need to work together to find ways to move that energy to factories and homes around the world so we can actually put an end to the use of combustion fuels that are slowly but surely suffocating us and our planet. The ancient Egyptian civilization has given us a very precious gift through the millennia. Let's not waste it. Little baby, don't say a word Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird And if that mockingbird won't sing Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring